our our club system and federation system and organization system does it fit to generation z mm -hmm. i would say no so at the end if you if you really if you really sign in oh, in my age group and i'm not that old but in my age group you've become a member of a club because of the parents or whatever and you stay there and then it's like if you don't want to be there anymore if you if you move house or whatever then you had a period of time where you can cancel the contract and terminate the contract and you still have to pay a certain amount of money for a certain amount of months no one would sign this contract anymore from this generation they would say okay within a month i'd like to skip it and if i can't skip it i'm not part of this by asking what's in for me so it's the way we are running our system in top sports doesn't fit to this and the question how the young generation is looking at things it's, I, I'm not negative about it. It's just about having the awareness as coaches, organizations and federations that if we want to keep them on board, then we need every time we need to give attention to them and we need to make sure that they get an opportunity to buy in as long as they want to because the span of being involved is not that long as in the former years. So it, it's, just a, it's just a change of mindset and we can still use the same hammer for different nails, but that doesn't work.